everyone! Before we get started, I just wanted to start off by saying thank you for 1,000 subscribers! To celebrate, I'm holding a giveaway on my Instagram page that will run until Sunday, November 17th at 12pm Central Standard Time. Head over there if you'd like to win some goodies! Winner will receive one Chantilly Classic Rib Beanie, one Champagne Satin Scrunchie, and one Blush Pangu Keychain. Good luck to all you Clovers! I'm so happy I could share my creations with you all! We are just four days away from the shop launch. I feel like there is so much to get done right now. I am going to make some classic beanies. Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, November 4th. And so we are just four days away from the shop launch, which I am so excited about. I have been sitting here and I think one of the best decisions that I decided is to move my vlogs over to my main channel because now all the people who followed me from Twitch, I'm like seeing you guys in the comments and like, guys, I've missed you guys. I just replied to a bunch of your comments and it just makes me really happy seeing you guys and just seeing that you still like me and you still remember me and think about me like what the heck and i honestly like seeing like so many names i'm just i'm so touched it it makes me really happy to see you all but there was one comment in particular which said that they once won a beanie from me during my christmas giveaway and i thought that was so special because on stream i used to do monthly giveaways where i would either write you like a handwritten note and send you some photo cards or i would sometimes crochet beanies and so i thought okay well that's really special because the fact that someone still has that beanie after what four years of not streaming that's crazy. So I decided, well, if that's the case, I only have cat ear beanies right now, but I am going to quickly go and make some classic beanies because I'm sure not everyone wants to wear the cat ear ones. And sometimes I don't want to like look cutesy either. So yeah, yesterday I quickly went to the store, got myself some more yarn and I'm really excited to show you guys these. I only have two colors right now, but I think they're, they're perfect. So I made a bunch of these so far. I actually have three of them made. I was so productive. They take like an hour each to make. So I went basically three hours straight. But guys, they this turned out so good, like better than how I used to make beanies. They're like soft and fluffy and they're stretchy because they're ribbed. They're perfect. And then I'm not gonna sew these up. So that way, like if you want to wear it, this style of beanie too, which I know some people like to and have it like scrunchy in the back. You can still do that. So I have this color. This is a dark heather gray. And then I have this guy too. So this one is a beautiful cream. I love it. I'm almost done. I'm just like a couple rows off, but I'm gonna be making about five of these and five of these. So it is a small collection, but I can always make more if anything. And I think I'm gonna call this one Chantilly. It looks more yellow on camera. I was thinking of like cream and I was like cream might sound good, but cr maybe creamy. And then I was thinking like a oh, whipped cream. And then I was like, oh, Whipped cream is also called Chantilly cream, so I just call it Chantilly. That's what we're gonna call this guy, Chantilly, and Dark Heather Grey. That's what's happening. I'm making some beanies. I'm actually also gonna head out soon to buy some more fabric as well because, guys, I have all of these scrunchies, minus this blue. So I have like all these white and I have this like beautiful silver as well. They're all satin. And so the white is honestly my favorite. I'm keeping one for me, uh, but the silver is beautiful too. And because I only had enough to make three blues, I'm not gonna sell the blues, but now I'm like, well, I need one more color. I love making the scrunchies. The scrunchies are actually so much fun to make. I don't know, everything is fun to make for me. That's why I've just been like pumping it out it's just been, I like that I can do 
multiple different mediums within this shop and I don't have to stick to just one thing. So I think that's what's most special to me about starting this is I can just do all the things and grow all the things that I'm like good at and want to learn more about. Like I want to someday make like pouches and stuff too. I think that would be super fun. And yeah, I'm just excited for everything. I want maybe one or two more colors. We're gonna go to the fabric shop today and try to find um, a couple more satins. I'm gonna just do a satin line this time. Yeah, so that's what's happening. Also, sorry if the background sound is loud. This guy, he's doing work. <laughs> My room is a mess right now, trying to get everything together, but it is what it is. I will clean it all up eventually. It's a busy day again today, guys, but I'm so excited for days until we lunch. Heading out. I usually don't like wearing my glasses, but they kind of look good today. Okay, let's go. I'm in the car right now. I actually just finished an interview and I think it went well. So fingers crossed that I get the job. Let's see, I wanna to go to the fabric store. I want to go to the post office to open up a P.O. box. But yeah, let's go. Okay, so I just made it to the fabric store. I am on the hunt for satins right now. So we are gonna go look for some satin fabric and see what beautiful colors we can find. So I currently found some elastics that are like really rubbery, which is nice. So I'm getting a couple of those. And then I'm looking at the bridal collection right now because they have some nice satins here. And then I'm also liking either this blush or this blush here, which is really pretty. Suits kind of like the brand colors. Okay, now that we have our fabric, which I'm really happy about, I found some nice colors. They all have like a slight pinkish tone to them, but I feel like that fits the brand really well. And I think scrunchies are just the perfect Christmas gift. So even if they're not sold, I think I'll still just use them for myself as Christmas gifts. They'll be great, uh, which is the nice thing about being a maker. Now we are going to go to the post office so I can hopefully open a P.O. box because I hear that it's more ideal to have a P.O. box open for any returns that might happen. I'm hoping there's no returns. Yeah, it's just safer to have a P.O. box overall. So hopefully, I don't remember it being crazy expensive last time I did it, but I can't remember. I just opened my P.O. box and guys, P.O. boxes have become so expensive since the last time I opened one. So please make good use of it. Um, send me letters, send me like how you've been doing and all that stuff like I want to see your pets I want to see all that stuff send me I love getting mail so send me some letters letters are like a dollar to send and so please do because I need to make good use of this P.O. box but yeah I'm really excited now that I have it open that's another thing to check off the list we're gonna go home and we will there's a bunch of things I want to do I want to make scrunchies, I want to edit vlogs, I want to try to get two vlogs out this week because I feel like I'm behind in my footage, but uh, we're also launching on Friday so I need to finish up some of my products as well so I can get them up on the website, I need to double check the website looks good, I'm I can't believe this is happening, it's so soon guys, Friday's literally like around the corner, and, uh, back home, room's a mess got our fabrics. I have this pretty pink, like a blush kind of tone, and then this champagne. There's a slight pinkish tone in it, but yeah, very pretty. And then while I was waiting to leave for my interview, I finished up making this guy, so I just have to loop in his threads, and then yeah, that's done. We have our three there. I'll keep making more beanies later, and... I feel like there is so much to get done right now. 
and I want to do everything all at once, but I need to take it one step at a time because I can't do everything all at once. So we will probably start with, I think we'll start with the scrunchies and then we will start editing some videos. And then after we edit the videos, we will probably at the end of the day when I'm just chilling, I will crochet some beanies. how pretty the sunlight is. Okay, so I cut my fabrics and now we will probably sew, but guys, I realized I got home and I've only had one cup of coffee today. I need to go make myself a coffee. So we're gonna do decaf because it's already 4.48, but yeah, what are we doing? We're being silly, let's go. Much better. We're in mom's room right now because mom has the sewing machine. Okay, so I have a bunch of my tubes done, so we are just gonna thread the elastic through. The sun is now down and it's making me feel tired because I'm like, oh, it's dark. Time for bed soon. No, it's only six. <laughs> Not time for bed soon. But I so far have only done the six scrunchies and I haven't even fully finished them. I need to close the hole shut. So suddenly I'm drained. Also, I need food. I need dinner. But I have that bag of potato chips eyeing me up and I really want to just crack it open. Uh, also, my glasses were hurting me from like like behind my ears and stuff and like they're just heavy because they're metal So I had to take them off. So I got the classic Bumps here. Anyways, we're gonna get back to work <laughs> because I still have a bunch of work to do Well, at least finish up the scrunchies today and then go from there. Oh, and I still want to edit a vlog or at least half of one Anyways, let's go <laughs> Okay, I just tubed up a bunch of my blush ones and then I have stuck an elastic into one so far but mom and I are gonna have some pork belly for dinner so we're gonna go eat right now. <laughs> okay, I just finished the other six, so we are done with scrunchies because I only have about five or six per color. We've got four different scrunchie colors. They are so cute. I am so excited. Those are finally done. I am going to try to edit a vlog, see how far I get with that, and then yeah, I'll probably hang out with my boyfriend for the rest of the night and crochet a bit while we watch something and go from there. Thanks for joining me! Goodbye! See you tomorrow, probably.